Good day everyone, you're watching Raytube on today's video. I'm going to, it's going to be a quick video on how to fix Windows Store problem. Now you might have noticed that a couple of uh, days back I have created a, a video uh, for Windows Store not working. I've been getting a couple of comments on this video stating that um, the steps what has been mentioned on this video has not been working. So this video is especially for them, uh, for the ones um, um, you know the steps which I mentioned in the earlier video doesn't work in case um, if you are the one who have not watched my previous video you can try the steps uh, if that doesn't work you can the steps you can try the steps which I'm going to um, uh, mention on this video now if you're not able to find my previous video I'm going to mention the link at the top of the screen now uh, without wasting any time now let's get started now the first step I would suggest to you if the Windows Store is not working is uh, click on the start button here and click on search and type troubleshoot and once you click on troubleshoot um, it will open up the basic troubleshooting window or for your Windows 10 scroll down um, uh, at the bottom of the screen and you will see a, a option which is called um, Windows Store app and click on run the troubleshooter now what this will do is it will uh, try to run the basic uh, uh, troubleshooting um, steps uh, for your uh, Windows 10 so what it will basically do is it will try to reset the cache for your Windows Store uh, store so in case if the Windows Store cache has been uh, corrupted uh, or in case if the register keys associated with the Windows Store has been corrupted now what it will do is it will try to repair uh, those uh, uh, services so in case uh, now in case if the issue resolves after uh, running this troubleshooter um, you're good to go in case if this doesn't work then uh, I'm going to suggest to you uh, the next step uh, next uh, maybe uh, we have about uh, two steps which you can try uh, three steps you can try before you uh, s start or uh, you know trying to do a repair of your windows so right now it is trying to reset and um, reset and open the windows store um, so in my case um, i'm able to open a uh, windows store or uh, i'm not facing any problem i'm going to cancel this so uh, wait until this uh, troubleshooter is uh, completed its process so in case if this doesn't work uh, the next step would be to check um, a couple of services on your computer so what you will have to do is you will have to press Windows and R key on your keyboard now once you press Windows and R key you will have to type services dot MSC now in case if you get a user access control prompt you can click on yes um, that will take you to this window now what this will do is it will uh, this particular window will show uh, show all the services which are running on your computer screen now the first service what you will have to check uh, if it is running or not is uh, Windows update uh, you can scroll down uh, and look for Windows update okay so you will have to in case if it is not running you will have to do a right click on it click on properties and under properties in case if it has been stopped you can click on uh, start and you can keep it as automatic uh, you can keep it as automatic click on apply and okay so what it will do is it will uh, it will my windows update service has been set as automatic and um, the services is since it is running um, it is I don't have to click on run and the next service you will have to go ahead and check it for uh, background intelligence services which is bits so this is a service uh, make sure this is also running in case if you're not um, in my case it is not been running so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a right click on it and go to properties and um, set this as an automatic here from the drop down and click on start so as soon as you click on start it will start the um, background intelligent transfer service uh, properties and um, this should be uh, running in case if you look at the screen it this should be running and the rest the next one is the remote call procedure the remote procedure call now this should be also running in my case it is the status is running in case in your case if it is not running uh, all you have to do is you will have to repeat the same steps go to properties and uh, ideally uh, this should be running in case if it is uh, not running you will have to click on start so you will repeat the same steps what you have followed for windows update and uh, uh, background intelligence service now once you have tried these steps um, the next step would be 
to go ahead and check for the Windows update. So um, in, click on the search bar and search for Windows update and make sure your Windows is up to date. In my case, uh, my device is up to date. In case if you want, if your device is not up to date, you can click on check for updates. What it will do is it will go ahead and check for the, the latest updates which are available for your Windows 10 or Windows 8 machine and it will try to install the updates. When you're installing the updates, it, um, your computer will uh, reboot a couple of times. So uh, another step what I would uh, suggest you is in case if there are no updates, it's available for you on this computer you can go ahead and uh, um, close this window and reboot your computer once you reboot your computer try to launch the Windows Store and see if it is working in case if it is working well and good you don't have to try the another step now the next step if it is not working is you will have to go ahead and create a new Windows user account so let me walk you through step by step how to create a new user account so uh, what you will have to do is you will have to click on the search again and type for user account and click on uh, my bad uh, you will have to type control in the start and run window in the once you type control you will have to, it will open up the control panel in the search box you will you can go ahead and type user and click on the user user account and this will uh, open up a window the user account control window uh, in my case this is my connected account it's a Microsoft connected account in case if you have a Microsoft connected account well and good in case if it is not a connected account if it is a local account you will have to change that into a connected account so in order to create a new user account you will have to click on manage another account and click on add new user in the PC settings so it will open up this window and uh, and you can go ahead and click on add a family member and select uh, the next option you will have two options if you want to add a family member as a kid or if you want to add a family member as an adult so uh, in my case I'm going to select a family member as an adult or other ways is you can go ahead and click on add someone else on this PC uh, however it is going to be your Microsoft account you don't have to worry about it so now let me walk you through step by step on how to do it so uh, it's going to take a while. Uh, let's be patient here. Okay, the next uh, screen what you will see is how will this person sign in. So I'm going to type my email address. And click on next. And the next option would be I, I would... Uh, so... I have created a new user account so when I go ahead and uh, click on switch user here uh, I will get an option or maybe if you try to restart your computer if I click on sign out I would get two users so you will have to sign in with your new user account so and uh, once you uh, I would suggest you to restart your computer and when you restart your computer you will have two different options uh, you will have to sign in with your new user account which you have created now and try to launch Windows Store and see if it is working if it is well is working it's well and good you're good to go or uh, and use your Windows Store in case if this doesn't work uh, probably the next best option is to go ahead and pro uh, uh, do a, a repair install of your Windows I hope this video is helpful in case if you loved like this video please make sure you hit the like button and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also let me know in, um, if these steps have worked for you thank you for watching you have a great day